What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to TTP Ravens Media, bringing Ravens content every single day. If you want to see that daily Ravens content, make sure to subscribe button down below. Hit the notification bell as well if you want to get notified every single time I put a brand new video. Now, it is Saturday. It is day three of the NFL draft. Not going to lie, I thought the draft started at noon, my time, but I believe the draft started at noon Eastern time. And so it's about 10 a.m. I believe the Ravens have made their uh, first pick and potentially their second pick. So I'm going to record both of those videos right now. Um, and then I'm going to be watching the draft. My apologies. Again, I thought it was at noon <laughs> Eastern time, but this will actually give me an opportunity to live react to more of the draft selections. So let me know in the comment section down below your thoughts on the Baltimore Ravens pick. When I'm looking at it, um, and, and where the Ravens are sitting, uh, 13th pick in the fourth round. I'm looking at wide receiver. There's some really good wide receiver options um, that were available coming into the day. Uh, Javon Baker, um, Tez, um, Troy Franklin. I'm really surprised Troy Franklin uh, fell all the way to the fourth round. I don't think he gets out of the fourth round. Very good deep threat. Um, if the Ravens decide to go with another offensive lineman, I won't be disappointed. Remember, they have two picks in this round, so... Um, go on best player available here and then, you know, maybe snagging a receiver at the next pick or drafting a receiver here. And then all of a sudden it's like, wow, we got every single position we could possibly need. But I, I think it's about that time I'm going to look up um, uh, the draft selection. So, you know, let's see what we got right here. So far, I think the Ravens have done a very, very good job. Um, okay, so the Ravens haven't picked twice. Um, wow. Okay, so we did go with Devontez Walker. Mentioned him already. Um, I think that's a really good selection. And double-checking, the Ravens picking like seven picks. <laughs> oh, I do want to make this a little bit fast. Um, Tez Walker out of North Carolina. This is, this is the type of receiver I think the Baltimore Ravens have been waiting for right he's six foot two he can go up and make um you know difficult catches but he's fast he can go deep you know he's explosive he can make big plays um you know he can he can break tackles and i think that's exactly what the ravens have been looking for in their wide receivers i saw a lot of people thinking hey maybe the ravens should snag him in the third round potentially people liked him a lot with the uh, a guy like Javon Baker. Javon Baker looks like he was off the board, um, and as was Troy Franklin. So uh, if I'm looking at it like this right now, Devontae Walker is the exact pick I would have made. Um, the best wide receiver available. Um, and, you know, again, it fits kind of what the Ravens are looking for. And it's, it's the second wide receiver that Todd Munkin has ever gotten the Ravens to draft. So obviously he drafted Zay Flowers and he utilized him so much last year. Um, I think, you know, he knows exactly what he wants, how he can fit in with these other wide receivers the Ravens have. And I think with his size, his big playability, um, his athleticism is going to be able to allow the Ravens to go up and, uh, you know, start throwing those jump balls, right? We thought Odell could be that guy last year. Um, he was just a little bit inconsistent with it. But now uh, we get a, a, a more athletic uh, player that can make those things that we were hoping Odell would do last year. And I think Odell was solid last year, but really think this is a solid pick. You know, he can, he'll probably slot in right away as wide receiver three. Um, he'll be battling with Nelly a little bit for snaps, but, uh, you know, I think he's definitely going to be a, a big time red zone target and a big time, you know, second and short, you know, hard play action to Derrick Henry. You get one on one on the outside because you're focused on Zay Flowers, Mark Andrews, and Derrick Henry. We're going to give him a lot of opportunities to make plays, and I think that's a really good um, wide receiver option to do. So super excited about this pick. Let me know in the comment section down below your guys' thoughts. I'm now locked into the draft. Sorry that this video is probably like half an hour, 40 minutes late. Super excited, but thank you, and I'll see all of you again later.